All right, y'all, so I'm heading to Bucky's right now. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I ain't never been to Bucky's before. It's like the Walmart of freaking gas stations, dog. I'm going in the jump because I see Bailey Levine always goes in. He said it's his favorite gas station. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna check it out real quick. Now I see why this is Balin's favorite gas station. This joint is huge. Bro, they got clothes in this joint. They got hoes in this joint. They got food. They got everything in this joint for a gas station. It's crazy. Bro, they even got Bucky himself in here. Taking pictures with kids and stuff. Is Bucky kind of like Chucky? Like Chuck E. Cheese? Basically, essentially. It's the Texas version, you know. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> wait, so Bucky's is only in Texas? It's, it was originated in Texas, but they have spread out. Colorado, oh, wow. South Carolina, yeah, Tennessee. This is my first time. Nice, nice, welcome, yeah. welcome. Hey, Bucky in this jump, bro. I might get a picture with Bucky, bro. I might need one with Bucky. What's good, Bucky? <laughs> So they got a side over here where they making like Texas barbecue sandwiches and stuff like that. You already know we got to tap in. So they say that Texas got the best barbecue. Let's see if they got good barbecue sandwiches at the gas stations out here, bro. We gonna purchase this real quick, see what's up with it. Damn, $12.99, they taxing. This hoochie mama better be worth it. Better be. Y'all, they barbecuing that meat in house. So I got my brisket sandwich right now. I'm pretty excited. Y'all probably can't see me because of glare, but it's all good because I'm about to hop in the whip and then y'all gonna be able to see me. So y'all already know how Big Peak's rocking. Went ahead and grabbed that brisket sandwich from a gas station in Texas. The gas station is called Bucky's. You know what I'm saying? They saying that this is the world's biggest gas station. World's biggest gas station. Look at all this meat. I'm wearing a white shirt, so I gotta kind of like fall back a little bit. Whoa, whoa, it's splatting. Splatting. I got white everything on the white kicks the white shirt. I can't get them messed up Can't do that Decent barbecue sauce nice and sweet The brisket is tender So fatty Yeah, a little fatty but for a gas station, it's not bad. Like, off some late night stuff, if I was out here, I would definitely come to Bucky's for this sandwich again. The meat is tender. Damn good brisket. Better than anything I had at 7-Eleven. And that's a fact. I mean, it ran me like $13, which is like a meal somewhere else. But, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's Texas, it's barbecue, and it's it. So now that we left the Bucky's, we're about to check into the hotel real quick. We're about to stay at the Marriott Marquis. Never stayed there before. Have we ever been to like one of these Marquis? Nah, no. I don't think so. We're gonna stay at one real quick. We're gonna show y'all what it's looking like and hopefully that joint's sweet. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The hotel was kind of expensive, so I'm gonna let y'all know if it's worth y'all money. Hopefully it's nice. Like look, look out here. Boom, we in downtown. I think this is downtown, I don't know. But it's real nice out here. You smell a whole bunch of great fragrances, like the restaurants is cooking that fresh steak or something, bro. Like, I smell that grill smell. We staying in the skyscraper zone. Oh, yeah. So far, the Teddy looking luxurious, y'all. And when I say luxurious, it's looking like a casino in this, Joe. Not a casino, but you know how the casino vibes was at the Teddy last week. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me them type vibes. Chandeliers on the ceiling and all that. For $500 a night, it better have all that. You feel me? Sparkling water. Bitches rubbing my feet, all that type shit. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this room looking sweet. Hey, don't this room kind of look better than the one at the casino? Oh yeah, oh most bruh. definitely. This room got really glass nice. everywhere, bro. Like this you could see the so whole nice. city out there. Oh. Y'all look at the view. Got the beds in here, beds nice and made up, you know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure the bed bugs ain't in them jumps. Like literally the whole entire wall is a window on both sides. You see the pool down there, it's like a rooftop pool, a Texas shaped pool right there. It's on lit. How you feeling? This is so nice. This is kind of scary though. I know. Think about it, we up here making love and they just in the pool watching. Bing, bing, bing. The windows are probably, oh I actually know they're not. So I'm looking at the sheets and I noticed a little bit of white substance right here, y'all. I'm trying to figure out what that's all about. 
Like, the thing is, bro, places like this where this view is just majestic and stuff like that, you already know people is getting freaky in this spot, bro. If only I had a black light. I'm gonna start bringing black lights, bro. Because, look, if I close these blinds right here, bro, turn off all the lights, black light this jump, we gonna see sticky starters all up in the building. Feel what I'm saying? Probably sperm on the walls, sperm on the floors, probably all over the windows. You know what I mean? Like, niggas is getting nasty in this joint. And the thing is, bruh, these housekeeping people, they lazy, bruh. What is that? So, so far, it's a dope rum minus the semen sample that was left on the sheets. Other than that, y'all, definitely worth your money, you know what I'm saying, for an erotic experience, romantic evening, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty dope. So right now we headed to Trail Burgers, y'all. Apparently it's Bum B's restaurant. Everybody's been commenting and asking me to check out this place. And just so happens I'm in Houston, so why not? We gonna head over here and see if Bum B making some good burgers. Shayla says she never heard of Bum B. Who's Bum B? He a rapper. I just hear you saying Bum B's restaurant. Who's Bum B? I've never heard of Bum B before in my life. Bruh, I told y'all. Shayla, she, I don't even know what's up with her, bruh. She doesn't even know who Tupac, I had to tell her who Tupac was, well, bruh. I know who Tupac is, and bruh, I know who he was. you capping right now. I'm not. My cousin listened to him all the time. I knew who Tupac was before Name, I name two Tupac songs. Hey Mama, I mean. <laughs> hey Mama, what the fuck, bruh? He I, never made that. I meant Dear Mama. Don't even play with me. Get away. All right, what else? Name one more. I don't know. I'm not about to play with you. California love? What? But I'm not saying the Unconditional words. love? What? I know. If you turn them on, I promise you, I know all the words. Like, I don't know, like, ghetto rappers or whatever. Alright, y'all. So, I just pulled up to the Trail Burger. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. Look. Line long as heck. Joan wrapped all the way around. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, Bumby shit must be torched. You see niggas everywhere. You see it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I feel like this is about to be an hour wait. This joint wrapped all the way around and some more stuff, bro. Like, when y'all told me to try trail burgers, I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Dang. Can't order online, nothing. We on the side of the street with it. So, Dre the Topic's supposed to be meeting me here. If y'all don't know who Dre the Topic is, he's another influencer from the DMV. However, he moved to Houston. But yeah, since he moved to Houston or whatever, he about to link up with me. We about to try these trail burgers together. Hey, I'm in this junk. Got my boy Dre with me. You no, know, man. My boy out in H-Town about to try this trail burger shit. Hey, you had it, junk before? It is. Nah, I never had it, bro. Look, I don't try meat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting a veggie joint, bro. If the veggie joint not good, I might slap this shit out with the first person I see. He might got to, y'all. Because I ain't gonna lie, they talk this shit up like it's tough. Bro, you see the line wrapped all the way around. Look, Rhyme he locked up. Joint, you see, look, I waited out that joint for like an hour. He came as soon as we got inside. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, you a real nigga for that, though. Hey, as soon as I pulled up, my boy got me in the joint immediately, bro. You know what I'm saying? Security at the door and all that. You know what I'm saying? They already knew who we, you know what I'm saying? So they, you know what I'm saying? We good. We good to go. You feel know? me? Right. question for you. How the food in this joint? It is great. Rated from 10, 1 out of 10. Yeah, a 10. If y'all look close up, Y'all see these straight up smash burgers, you feel me? Like, I'm sitting here watching them season them jumps up. I'm watching them smash it. They doing their thing. Hey, look, bro, I'm gonna be honest, fool. The patties, thin as shit, fool. Chill out, fool. It's OC. But it might be torched, though. This shit might be torched, so we gonna see, bro. You ain't fucking with them? I'm gonna be real. They look thin, like OC. I don't know if they good or not, though. But we gonna see, bro. I don't wanna judge a book based off the cover, you know what I mean? So, that's true. We gonna see, bro. But they look thin as shit. Them joints look small. <laughs> Listen, y'all, if y'all don't know this, me and Peach, we from the DMV. If you from the DMV, y'all know it's dangerous. I told my boy to move out of Houston, bruh. Bro. Low key, real chill. He said it's gonna be way safer for me to move out here, bruh. But the thing is, I can't, bruh, I don't wanna leave the area, bruh. I like it in the DMV. Hey, listen, bro. tell him he gonna elevate if he leave his hometown, bruh. Stop being, tell him get out of his comfort zone. That's his problem. Get out your comfort zone, bruh. Bro, he telling me to leave, bro. Get out your bro. comfort zone, bro. Get out your I, comfort zone, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. It's nice out here. Like, I like it out here, bro. But it's like... Look, you can always visit back home. That's true. See what I'm saying? I'm saying, man, look, man. Tell that boy stop being scary, man. Move, bro. Y'all, this is what they looking like. She going ahead and she chucking them jumps. Yeah. Them jumps good? Hella good. Yeah. I'm be happy as shit to be on that box. Look at him. Hey, the burgers banging? Yeah, it was it was perfect, man. I like I like that. I, I like that. Thing. Oh my fault! Ain't nothing on the table. Bro, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Security guard kind of blew me a little bit, bro. 
But forget about that. You see, Smash Burgers, Bum B Jones. This the vegan joint. You know what I'm saying? You better see what's in with it though. All right, y'all. I'm gonna take a first bite of this junk. Cool. What you got? Oh, this joint tough. It got a lot of flavor to it, right? Oh, this joint OC for real. It did. And this the vegan one, bro. How that one taste? It's pretty. It's a little tiny bit salty. No, but the it got bun. Good. It got the good. bun. It's the bun that's salty. The bun that's good, bro. But the shit, the shit I banging. Mean, like potato bread, yeah. It look like they got like. They got that, like that mac sauce or something on that joint. Y'all see it? And they got, I think this triple patty. That's why the patties were so small, bro. Bro, triple joints on. Not the smash joints, bro. Like the smash yeah. joints be super thin because they be pressing them joints down. But, nah, bro, facts. I ain't gonna lie. got a lot of flavor to it. It do got a lot of flavor to it, bro. This probably one of, this probably top five burgers I've had. For like fast lie. food burger too. Fast food, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh look, oh yeah. The sauce tastes like a Thousand Island dressing or something like that, like some Big Mac sauce. Hey, without the paper, this should be messy as hell too. No, I ain't gonna lie, but it's it's torch though. It's good. We gotta try the fries though. Yeah, I'm about to try the fries. Y'all see, they put grilled onions on it, pickles. It look like some Thousand Island dressing, some cheese, and the Smash Burgers is hitting, bro. Smash Burgers hitting, fool. I ain't gonna lie, the Smash Burger OC right now. And then they got a perfect lace on that junk. That junk. Yeah, I was yeah. confused about that, bro. But it was told you got pickles on that pickles. Pickles on that oh, junk. Damn, damn fool. On your shit? Nah, yeah, I got mean, onions. Just onion. But that don't hit though. Oh, it is pickles on it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, Bum B he did his thing, bro. Yeah. A lot of a lot of celebrities that, that start businesses and stuff like that, they fool be nasty. Like Mr. Beast Burger. Mr. Beast got way more money than Bum B. And it's like, I don't but you know. know, but you know, Bum B from the hood though. Oh yeah. So you know, we know the good eats. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. A, I ain't gonna lie, the line not long for no reason though. But these look like oh, some. Cool. These are like some some Hooters fries. No cap. I mean, <laughs> the fries, they real crummy. Your joints like that, like kind of crummy? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it is, yeah. I feel like it's a lot of oil on this shit, too. They decent, though. Oh, no, nah, they, they salted up to perfection, boy. The fries, yeah. They salted up, bro. You don't need no condiments, you don't need no honey mustard. I'm about to say that. I don't need none of that, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, honey mustard would take it to the next level. It but, would. Hey, but you don't need it though. It would. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The fries hit, the burger hit. I'm gonna be real. The lemonade, the li I ain't gonna lie, the lemonade kinda mid. I ain't gonna lie. The drink kinda mid. That don't look mid. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it, it's mid, bro, but it'll get the job done. You know what I'm saying? So now, bro, for the rating though, fool, you know what it is, bro. I'm gonna do real. Hey, look, be real, bro. Be bro, I'm real. Be real. But okay. this one tastes better than Smash Burger to me. I don't know. I don't know if you had it. Nah, you know I ain't Smash Burger. They got a black bean burger, not a, not a vegan one. So I don't, I don't really that. know. But do it taste better than Smash Burger? To me, it do. It do. I mean, and it's fast food. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For fast food, they just open. Most of the time, when restaurants just open, they kind of mm -hmm. got a lot of kinks and shit. But it's hidden for just opening. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all see me still eating this, like after the video, fool, like you know it's torch. It's good as shit. I'ma give it like maybe a 9.5, maybe a 10 out of 10. Nah. Yo. You ain't banging with that? Hey. You ain't banging with that. Well, you to give it a nine is crazy. Bruh, because like for a fast food jump, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all see. I ain't gonna lie. An hour line, I waited for an hour, bruh, and I'm not regretting it. I ain't gonna the lie, the burger, the burger, a nine. Lemonade, a six. The fries, like a seven. And it's for a vegan burger too, you feel me? Yeah. Imitation meat. You feel me? He eating that, that Bill Gates shit.